Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play This Old Love by Lior today. Uh, just before we jump into it, I'll let you know that I've made a cover of this song, which is linked below, where you can see all the parts fitting together. Um, you can also support me at Patreon, which is linked below, as is a video explaining what that all is, if you're unsure. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I've also made a Spotify playlist that's got all the songs I've made tutorials for in it, so you can have a listen through that and see if you want to learn anything. Also, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. But anyway, now that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson. So for this track, we're just in standard tuning, only one guitar um, playing through this track. Got a capo on the sixth fret and finger picking. Um, not too many sections to this song. We've just got a verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and a bridge. Um, and I'll go through section by section, give you an example of each part, and then I'll teach it to you. All right, so we'll start with the verse, which comes in right at the top of the track and goes like this. All right, so we're starting with this chord. So third fret on the sixth string and also on the second and third strings. And we're going to pick string 6 to start with. And then we pick the open 1st and 4th string together. Then string 2 and 3. Then we move the bass note down 1 fret, so 2nd fret on the 6th string. And then we pluck, keeping these two fingers where they were. Then we pluck strings two and four together and then string three and four so the first two chords then we move on to a C shape so that's third fret on the fifth string second fret on the s on the fourth string open third and first fret on the second string we pluck the bass note of the chord and then strings two and four so pluck them together then open third and then fourth string then do the same thing but put in a hammer on on the fourth string when you play the two notes together then we've got this this shape. So first fret on the fifth string, and then you can do one one finger per string. But if you can flatten out your your third finger over strings four, three, and two in the third fret, you can do that. And this one, bass note, then string two and four together, and then string three and four. Just do that the once. Then we're going to move over two frets and just hold a power chord shape. So third fret on the fifth string and fifth fret from the capo on the fourth and third strings. And we're going to pluck the bass note and then string four and the open second string together. Then string three and four. So you get... And then we go back and play just a regular G, G chord shape. So third fret on the sixth, second and first strings. Second fret on the fifth string. Middle two open. And picking, again we go bass note first, then string one and four together. And then pluck string two and then three. Back to the bass note. And then we've got this little, which is just open fifth string, hammer on to two, open fourth, open fifth. So this last chord, and then you repeat. is 
the verse. Um, it sort of alternates just the last chord between that little riff to get you back to the top of it and just playing, just strumming the G chord. So it might be just like that to finish the phrase going between sections maybe. But that is the verse. All right, so the next part to learn is the pre-chorus and the pre-chorus goes like this. So starting off with an E minor shape. So open sixth string, second fret on the fifth and fourth strings, and the top three open. We go bass note, then pluck string five and two together. Then open third, then the fourth string that we're holding down on the second fret. And then play the bass note so the fifth string is the bass note this time. So we just basically move our picking pattern up one string. Um, so bass note on the fifth, and then first and fourth string together, then open second, open third. So the first two little bits is that. Then we go to our C, uh, C shape again. Exactly the same as what we learnt in in the verse. So C chord shape and then same picking pattern with that little hammer on. Um, then we go to this sort of minor seven shape, which we're just moving into two different spots effectively. So we're going to bar the second fret from the capo, top five strings, and then second finger on the third fret second string and your third finger fourth fret fourth string and we're going to pick the bass note then string two and four together then string three and four so you get just do that once then just basically move it down two frets but because that means we've got the open string we reshuffle our fingers and just got, have the um, open fifth string, second fret on the fourth string, open third and first fret on the second string. And again, same picking pattern for this one, bass note on the fifth string, then strings two and four together, then open third, open fourth string. So these two chords together. And then we can keep those two fingers there and basically play our C chord shape, but just move it up two frets. So we're going from this. So our C chord shape in uh, sort of third position. So you've got your third finger, fifth fret on the fifth string, second finger, fourth fret on the fourth string, open third string, and then third fret on the second string. And we pick the bass note on the fifth string, then strings two and four together, open third, open fourth, open fifth, and then open first string, and then uh, second string, sorry. So you get, then you get back to the top of this. First chord exactly the same, starting on that E minor. But this time, instead of going to the C, we go to that minor seven shape and then back to the E minor. So the first two chords. Just like that. And then we go to our C shape. Just in standard sort of C position. So that's third on the fifth, second on the fourth, open third string, first fret on the second. And again, picking pattern, thumb, then second and fourth string together, open third, open fourth. Do that once, then we just take our third finger off. 
exactly the same picking pattern. So bass note, string two and four together, and then third and fourth string, and then do that sort of uh, C shape up two frets. And just let that last note hang. So fifth string, then two and four together, then three, four, five. And that gets you into the chorus, and the chorus goes like this. Okay, so um, just starting on our G shape. So we pick bass note, then strings one and four together, then go two and three. So you get, and then bass note this time on the fifth string. So bass note and then string two and four together, then open third, open fourth. We do that twice. We've got this chord. So it's our pinky on the fourth fret from the capo on the fifth string, uh, second fret on the fourth and third strings, and then open second string. And for this one, we pick fifth string as the bass note, and then string two and four together, and then string three, four, do that twice. And then we play this little C sort of nine chord, which is um, third fret on the fifth string, second fret on the fourth string, open third and third fret on the second string. And we go bass note, string two and four together, then open third, string four, and do that again. Oops, sorry. Second time, you pick string uh, one and four together, and then string two and three is sort of like the, the notes after that. Then you get back to the top and just repeat it. And that is the chorus. Um, so the only other part to learn now is the bridge, and the bridge goes like this. Alright, so starting off with this chord. So second fret on the sixth, fourth, and third strings, and open second string. So we're gonna go bass note, then string two and four together, then pick string three and four. So you get, and you do that twice. Then we've got this little seven shape. So second fret on the fifth, third, and first strings, and first fret on the fourth. So you get those notes. And we're gonna pick bass note, then string one and four together, then string two and three. So you get, and you do it twice like that. Then we've got this. This little rundown. So, uh, seventh fret from the capo on the fifth string, and fifth fret from the capo on the fourth string. Go bass note, then string two and four together, then string three and four, pick. So you get. Then we move down, 
picking pattern is exactly the same, but now we've got uh, fifth fret from the capo on the fifth string, third fret on the fourth string, and second fret on the third string. And again, bass note, string two and four, then string three and four. So you get. And then finishing on that C sort of nine uh, at nine from earlier. So that's third fret on the fifth string, second fret on the fourth, open third, and third fret on the second string. And again, bass note, string two and four together, then string three and four. And repeat. the last time you just let it uh, play that last chord one more time and sort of let it hang a bit just like that um, but that's all the four parts of this song um, thank you so much for watching and listening um, like I said at the top of the video you can check out the cover I made of it which has got all the parts fitting together and yeah you can follow me on Facebook Instagram Twitter um, support me on patreon link below and also got that Spotify playlist that's got all the, the tunes I've made tutorials for on it. Um, so you can check that out and see if you want to learn anything else. If you like and subscribe, that'd be great again. But that's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.